What is up, my people? I hope that you're having a great day, night, wherever you're at, whatever you're doing. It could be 2019 where you're at. Um, it is not here yet. So I am wishing all of you guys that haven't had the new year yet, happy new year. Um, yeah, so I am just quickly coming here to you to let you know that I'm thinking of you. I'm so, so grateful for you. And I want to continue my relationship in 2019 with you. That is a resolution that I don't think is going to be hard to not follow through with, if that makes any sense. Tonight, I am probably just making like some simple kind of dinner and maybe watching some Netflix, um, The Office, or there's this one intense sh movie, uh, with Sandra Bullock uh, in it. I can't remember the freaking name of it. But um, there's that. Uh, Caden's kind of feeling up and down sick. We had family stuff yesterday or the day before. I'm getting all my days mixed up. Um, so, yeah, the day before because I had to take a day to recuperate. Um, every time I have to go out, you know, and socialize uh, for quite an extended period of time, especially with people I don't know, but these were all people I knew. I, I still had to do my normal thing to calm myself down. And as you can tell, I'm a little bit like more on the excited, edgy side, um, which is fun for me since it's New Year's, but I will probably not be staying up very much. I will probably be really just chilling, and if she backs into me, I swear... I'll just be chilling and um, probably talking to a few friends through text and just hope that you guys know that I'm here. If you need me, I will continue to be here in 2019. I hope you do too. Uh, mental health is no joke. So tonight, feeling good, feeling positive, sending you my positive energy, all my love and I would like to know what you guys are doing for New Year's. Just curious, especially the younger ones that are out. I just ran into <laughs> this guy that was bagging my groceries. I think he was already starting his party a little bit, but he was funny. He, uh, I guess he's an underage kid. He's having a party at his house. His parents are gone out of town. So he's like, house party. I am off in 15 minutes. Like, here we go. I said, oh boy, that kid's in trouble. I said, you better go ahead and call in sick now because you have to work tomorrow. He said, yeah, I got to work first thing in the morning. I said, you're not going to make it. <laughs> so I just remember how I was at that age. I hope this lady's not waiting on me. Parking lots make me a little anxious, especially when it's not during the daytime. So I apologize that this is all over the place, but I wanted to get it up here before 12 o'clock tonight, and this is the time that I had to do it, and I don't know, guys, I'm just, I'm, I'm low-key freaking out a little bit, um, pretty, pretty, uh, hyper right now, so, okay, I'm gonna let you guys go, I wish you nothing but the best for 2019. Nothing but the best. 2018 is a year to remember. I don't know in a good way, but yeah, I mean, we're alive, we're here. We have each other, we have shelter, we have food. All the things that one should be grateful for. Um, a job to provide us the opportunities to have that kind of stuff. So I know this next year 2019 it's gonna be definitely different because I'm planning on taking uh, massage therapy school that'll last most of the year I won't have as much time to just sit around and not do as much I guess uh, and then I have a son who's gonna get more and more homework so I still want to continue to make videos and I plan on making videos um, but they are rambly and <laughs> talking about nothing. So I apologize about that. I may work on some of my minimalism stuff tonight if I'm having this energy and just get like that little 
thing in my ear saying, you know, it's time. I've already got stuff in piles and everything like that. So I am going to calm down a bit and drink my tea. And I'm going to drive home about mm, 20 or 30 minutes away from where I live is where I shop. So I am going to put some, put some music on and jam out and just watch for cops because I got to obey the speed limit, especially this time of year. There's checks and everywhere else. Uh, checkpoints. What do you call them? Checkpoints. Anyway, sorry guys. I really am. I love you so, so much. Like if you're not having a good day, I was straight up there basically yesterday, not having the best of day, but today turned around and it's all better now. And it's strange because it's been going more up and down and being able to help people, I think helps me. Um, and I've had a lot of people recently in my life, in my real life here that have needed my advice, my love, my opinions, and uh, that just makes me feel so good inside. I was talking to them about love languages, like a man and a wife, like, it's crazy how different the love languages are for a man and a woman. I'm not going to get too much into it. You can research it if you want, but just not just that one thing in particular there was many different subjects many different people that allowed me the opportunity to very much go deeper into my mental health helping um there are some here in my area that i am starting to find are opening up to me a little bit more because i've opened up to them um, and they feel comfortable, I think, reaching out to me and they've hit some pretty dark points in their life this past, you know, December always seems to be hard for a lot of people. Um, I don't know, like November and December, I don't know if it's cause it's like the holidays or it's not just the holidays. It's, there's other things like just cold and bitter about it and um, I think that's why you know it's a good time to you're not feeling good everything's happening bad like this is the time to say hey this is what's gonna change and this is how I'm gonna do it uh, I personally don't make New Year's resolutions um, just because I don't know who I'm gonna be tomorrow I want to be as much free-spirited as I possibly can um, cause I can be uptight here in the real world, like not take as many chances. So I just know my shortcomings and I know that I want to continue to improve myself. I don't want to say in this, this, or this, like my pants are way too small right now. They're just small, but do I want to sit here and make like, a New Year's resolution that I'm gonna lose 50 pounds next year and keep it like a year is a really long time and I don't want to make promises to myself that are not meaningful I mean maybe meaningful today but maybe not tomorrow and I just don't want to put myself under pressure like that you know, um, I've not been one to go to a gym and get a membership and go the first few times. Um, sorry guys, the parking lots are kind of creepy at night, but I am good. I'm in a secure area right above a light. So, um, yeah, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Honestly, the grocery store was busy. It is 6.30 here, and I was able to go because of the mood that I'm in, and I have someone who can relate to going to the store. Um, so I just put my headphones in, I popped a little anxiety medicine, and there I go, and I was good. So, some days it's easy like that, other days, 
not so much. So, I have got this device that plugs into my phone. It's one of those transmitters because my car is doesn't have one of the auxiliary things or a USB thing or whatever. So, um, a cassette player, I guess. So, I have to use this instrument and I have all the songs that I love on my phone. Um, and I'd rather listen to those while I drive. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let you all go. I've been talking for 10 minutes and 37 seconds. And I really don't remember everything that we talked about. So, I apologize. I hope you remember tonight <laughs> as a magical night. Um, and that you don't feel too much like asshole in the morning. So, I'll talk to you guys later. I love you so much. Bye.